Yo what's poppin' guys, Sizzle here, and this is a video guide showing you how to get CTGPR version 1.03 running on Dolphin. Uh, full credits to how to do this, kind of being discovered by Crafty Awesome here on YouTube. He has a very great guide that has like text and everything to go along with it. The reason I'm making this video is first off to have a video with voice, because I feel like that is very important for a lot of people. And second off, because he didn't use this uh, dolphin portable kind of setup that I have and I think most people using dolphin should be using and for those curious how to set up dolphin portable which basically means all the dolphin stuff is in this one folder here instead of having half of it like hidden somewhere on your computer uh, I have a video in the description of me setting up dolphin the exact way I have it set up here so go follow along with that video which I linked below uh, if you need help with that if you need any other help, you could try leaving comments here, or you could go to this guy's video and leave comments for him, because he does have a better understanding of how all this works than I do. I'm just about to explain it to you in a way that could get it you know, up and running in a few minutes. So first off, you have to go to Chatsoft and get CGPR, which, you know, the same download that you use for your SD card. And when you extract it, you'll have something like this, right? And then the next thing you want to do is open up Dolphin, and you should have something that looks something like this. And from here, uh, go to config. First off, make sure the paths that you have set up are linked to your Mario Kart Wii uh, file. A lot of times when this doesn't work, when there's a disk write error, it's because you have a WIMFI patched version of Mario Kart Wii. This needs to be the original game. It can't be modified in any way. It has to be the original Mario Kart Wii or this will not work. So that's that's a very common uh, problem. That's the problem I actually ended up having that took me like an hour to figure out. Anyway, once you have all that set up, go to the Mario Kart Wii that you have, right click, set as default ISO. What this will do is it'll kind of tell your Wii, your, your, your Dolphin kind of fake Wii, that Mario Kart Wii is in the disk slot, which is exactly what we'll need. Uh, then we want to go to config, we, and hit convert file to folder now. And what this will do is it'll take any SD card that you've loaded on Dolphin, or if you have no SD card, it won't do anything, which is fine. Hit it anyway, hit yes. And then even if it says conversion failed, that's good. And basically what that'll do is it'll go to the SD sync folder and put anything that was on your SD card into that folder so that it doesn't get deleted. Is what we're about to do is we're going to go to Dolphin, Users, Load, Wii SD Sync, take all the files for CGPR right now, drag them down into here, uh, and then what we're going to do is hit Convert Folder to File now, and what that's going to do, and when we hit Yes, is it's going to convert all the stuff in this folder off into an SD card, actual real file. So if we go out here, we can see we have WeSD.raw. It's a, a, a gig a half, which has all of CGP stuff inside of it. All right, now that we've done that, we've, we've kind of done the first half of the video. Uh, second off, you need to go to Advanced and Enable Write Back Cache. And now this will be extremely slow, but at the same time, uh, it's, it's also necessary to get CGPR running, and you can disable this when everything's actually up and running. So first off, we're going to do this. Uh, then we're going to go to Wii. Sorry, we're going to go to Paths, not Wii. And either hit Add and add the path where this Wii SD sync thing is. Like, like specifically these files, you need to make your way back to these files. So load Wii SD sync. You can either add that to path, or if you're like me, and you have your ROM folder and Dolphin uh, thing in the exact same folder, you can simply hit search subfolders and it will find it. Either way, when you have that file loaded this way, you'll see CTGPR channel, and then you simply double click it. And if you had all that up and running fine, now when Dolphin loads, it will be very kind of laggy, kind of slow. But you'll see it says preparing SD, CGPR revolution. And uh, yeah, use the arrow keys to kind of move around and left click to hit, you know, basically hit A when you're on the language. Left click to hit A to kind of skip through all this. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, left click to hit A to accept the terms and conditions. Perfect. Uh, you would like to install CGPR revolution right now. Hit yes on that. This will take a little while to install, and I will fast forward through that. You can see in the bottom right, 
Uh, that is that's the current time. It is one twenty a.m. when I'm making this. Uh, yeah. Anyway, at this point, it will say the main installation has completed. Uh, it says, do you want to enable um, automatic updates? You could try hitting yes. Uh, it probably won't work, but just I hit yes and then I hit A a bunch. Then it, it probably just won't work when you're trying to update, at least for me personally, when I try to do go to updates and update, uh, it, it doesn't work. <laughs> if I press one on my keyboard, I, that that might not work either. And that's completely fine, right? You don't you don't need uh, the updates. What we're gonna do now is actually boot the game. And to do that, first off, we go to settings and change anything here that we want to change. If we want to change anything, I don't think we do. Other than I guess me heads on min on minimap are pretty cool. And right, everything else, kind of whatever. Uh, so let's go back, and then we go to launch game by. Left clicking yet again, arrow keys to launch game, left click to launch game. And here is where it'll check your disk. It will be very laggy, like you can see here. It'll say can't verify, and that's fine, because that what that basically means is that we can't play online because we're not connected. But we're just getting the game running and we just want to play time trials play offline. So just hit one or X, whatever you have on your controller. If you don't have a controller set up, it is one with your mouse and keyboard. And uh yeah. It'll apply the game patches, it'll load in, and then we'll be good. You can see the game is loaded, right? CGP via 1.03. Press A to continue. I left clicked to continue. Uh, and at this point, when the game's running, you have to make sure you get to like the license screen just to be extra safe. But when you get to the license screen, uh, we're going to disable the read write cache thing that we enabled earlier so that the game will run at a better speed and we're going to do a second change that also makes the game run better yet again found out by crafty awesome seriously go to that guy's video link in the description you know hit him with a thumbs up hit him with a subscribe uh, he's, he's a real one for for making this all possible because i i don't think anyone else was gonna manage to figure this out other but yeah now now i'm getting like Ear raped. Uh, it's really, really bad audio because it's running at like 2% speed. Disable, enable right back cache, and it'll already be fast. And then what we have to do, uh, because CGPR is made to run on a real Wii, it actually has stuff that stops you if your game runs too fast. So then what you want to do is it enable emulated CPU clock override and set it to exactly 24%. Uh, and then you're good, right? From this point, right, I haven't changed my graphics. My graphics are actually at native, I lied. My graphics can now be 1080p. I can have every other normal thing. And if I go here and actually turn on my controller, I can do a quick time trials to kind of show it off, you know, show that it's working, show me racing against a ghost, you know, all of that. And yeah, I'm going to go quickly record game audio so you guys can actually hear this. And also... You know, play the game. You can see that the menus are very laggy. When you actually get into a time trials, it is completely fine. Uh, like I said, most of this relies on you having your Wii set to that 24%. Let me double check that I did that. Yep, enable 24%. Enable right back cache turned off. The menus are just going to be laggy. It's something you got to deal with. But for example, you know, let's go to Pump Pump Forest. Pretty cool custom map I haven't ever played before, but I did play while testing. You see, reading ghost data, it will be laggy, but it's also laggy on a real Wii. And you can see I can hit race this ghost, it's Brawl Boss ghost, and if I go and beat the time, which is pretty easy to beat despite me being very rusted at this game and all that, I can even show off that ghosts do properly save. Yeah, you can see, we're loaded in, we're up against the ghost, it is buttery smooth at the full 1080p no real issues i i will say this is a very expensive on your computer like if you don't have a good computer it's gonna be very tough to run this uh but yeah where well, you can see it's it's running fine like everything's working fine i'm driving just as poorly as ever and i'm fighting you know, i'm up against this ghost that's actually on the track and yeah, I'm gonna make the rest of this time trials go like 800 times speed, just so you don't have to watch me do an entire time trials to see that it goes saves.
Yeah, you could see, uh, beautifully driven if I say so myself. I don't, I don't think you could really drive that course any better than that. And you can see if we go to change course, I will now have a ghost saved under Funky Kong, under my me, under everything. Uh, if you haven't set up your Mies on Dolphin, you'll have to kind of do that on your own. I just imported my actual Wii's NAND, which is where my me and everything is coming from. You can see whenever this loads in, which which is slow as shit, like there's there's no way to fix this. It's slow on a Wii, it's slow, it's slow on an emulator. You can see, right? Now we have an expert ghost, and now my ghost is here with a beautiful 30 30 557. And yeah, that's how you play CGP and Dolphin. That's everything you have to do. Uh, let me know in the comments, like I said, if you have any questions, and go support the guy who originally found out this method. And with that being said, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.